Hello and welcome to Simplified and Pardish where we take complicated automotive ideas and break them down into bite-sized pieces that you can use in your life with motorcycles. And today we are talking about the times when you are on a motorcycle but you are not alone because your partner, your friend, your mother, your girlfriend, somebody is sitting behind you. What to do, what to tell them, it's all in this video. Before we start, subscribe, bell notification icon so that these videos reach you automatically. Do give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and this time, this is not a video just for you, it's a video for them as well. So please do share it with your partner, your mother, your friend, your girlfriend, your sister, your brother, whoever is going to be riding a motorcycle with you. But in spite of the fact that we've made this video, what we're about to tell you in this video is information that you need to transfer to the person you're going to be riding a motorcycle with. That is important because it opens a channel of communication where both of you know exactly what to expect from each other. And the first rule of having a pillion on the motorcycle is that once they are seated on the motorcycle, it's their ride and you are only a vessel ensuring that they have a good time. And therefore, once they're on, whacking the throttle open, pulling wheelies and all of that is only a good idea if they're asking for it. And in the same way, you ride alone, you ride tank to tank, which means you're sitting on the motorcycle for 250 kilometers at a time or something, that's awesome. But if your pillion says they need to stop, that's it. You need to stop. You need to give them a break. They are in control. So as long as they are happy, they are comfortable and they're enjoying ourselves, we're doing a good job. If they are uncomfortable, they are scared, they need to go to the loo but you won't stop, all of these will ruin their experience. And ruining the experience of riding a motorcycle, honestly, you're an enthusiast, why would you do that? So when I have pillions who ride with me, I give them a very short briefing about what behavior I expect from them. The first is they do not climb onto or off the motorcycle until I am ready for them, which means I will actively tell them saying, okay, I am braced, climb on. If it's a particularly heavy person, I might have a side stand deployed and they will climb the motorcycle from the side stand side so that even if I lose the balance a little bit, I have a backup of a side stand that will hold the motorcycle up. The same goes for dismounting as well. You will never dismount on the high side of the motorcycle. You will always use the side stand side to get off the motorcycle. Only after I am sure that my feet are in a secure place, I'm holding the motorcycle firmly and now you can get off. The other favor you can do your pillion, and it, I know that it's not the easiest thing to do, is to rack the preload up a little bit. Because once your pillion sits down, their weight will push the back of the motorcycle down, so the front end is up, it won't steer as well, you won't have a good time, they won't have a good time as well. Just taking the time to prep the motorcycle for them requires you to just crank the preload up, so that once they sit down, the motorcycle's attitude is still a natural attitude, which means it'll handle heavier than normal, but it'll operate just like normal. The second thing I do with a pillion is to tell them that they're supposed to sit on the motorcycle in a relatively secure, unmoving place. Because remember, your pillion might weigh something from 38 kilos to 130 kilos and this kind of weight moving around on the motorcycle will cause steering inputs which will make you uncomfortable and the ride less smooth. So generally, they can move their body around but if they're going to shift around like that, I want them to tell me which is not really that difficult to do, even though you're going at speed, it's a matter of tapping you on the shoulder and telling you that I'm going to move and then the rider will confirm that, okay, I'm bracing for your movement and then the pillion can move around a little bit. But turning your head, turning your body, trying to look at traffic, this is all interruptions and this is something that you would generally warn your pillion against. If they turn only their head while keeping their body stable, it's still okay, but if they're going to turn their body fully, that's definitely going to be a cause of problems. So I generally tell them that what I want the pillion to do is hold their knees close so they're holding the rider's body a little bit and quite firmly if they can, if they have the ability to do it, they'll be holding you quite firmly. I generally don't like hands on my shoulders because I am using my shoulders and hands etc to control the motorcycles. So I generally want their hands around my waist. It's a more secure place to hold than even the grab rail in some cases. So I want you to hold like this. I want you to stick your knees in and I want you to look over one of my shoulders, pick one, it doesn't matter, and see what's going on so that you can anticipate the fact that I'm about to brake or accelerate and your body can anticipate the movement that is going to come to you. If they don't anticipate, they're sort of thrown back by acceleration, thrown forward by braking, you'll bang helmets and stuff and it just makes the experience more uncomfortable for them and making them look ahead reduces their fear levels as well as increases their involvement levels in the ride because they now have a job to do. They're just not sitting there like a sack of potatoes waiting for the destination to arrive. The change that they can make is move their head from over one shoulder to the other one depending on what turn I'm taking. I would generally like my pillion's helmets to be on the inside. So if I'm taking a left turn, I would expect to see their head somewhere here. If I'm taking a right turn, I would expect to see their head somewhere here. 
you don't need intercoms you don't need any of these complicated things to achieve a very very simple balance between the rider and the pillion the pillion has a few rules which are mostly about not upsetting the motorcycle and the rider has a huge task which is to ensure that the pillion enjoys the ride on the motorcycle i promise you you've met this new girl you're trying to impress her she sits on the back of your motorcycle and you take off at 8 million miles an hour she is going to be more frightened and she's going to be so frightened that she can't be impressed with you yet you've just made the job of impressing her harder for yourself on the other hand if you take her for a nice smooth jerk free easy ride they'll get off the motorcycle having enjoyed the experience having enjoyed your company and the entire experience is more pleasant and at least in the case of my wife when i tried this she was thoroughly impressed as it turns out she was also a speed freak so once we got off she was like is that how fast you go so i said no i go quite a bit faster than this and at that point she said the next time can you go faster i would really like that because i do enjoy the sense of speed and the next time we went quite a bit faster and she had a much better time but remember it's her ride it was her choice to make so once she informed me that she was comfortable going faster we did and we both had a great time and that's all there is to it when you're riding with another person the responsibility is not for you to have a great time on a motorcycle that's a good side effect to get the task is to ensure that the pillion has such a great time that they want to ride with you again hopefully to the point where they get themselves a motorcycle and become a motorcyclist and now they're no longer clogging your back seat they're running with you on their motorcycle you've just made a friend thank you so much for watching this is simplified on part of to take complicated ideas break them down into small bite sized pieces that you can use in your life with motorcycles and their pillions thank you so much for watching